Good morning, good morning. Okay, I'm gonna take a few minutes to get all gathered up here so that we can get started on the first Friday 10 a.m. tutorial. So um, let me grab my water and get myself all connected. Give you guys a minute to join me hopefully this morning. Um, like I said, this is the first Friday tutorial, so I hope a few of you get a chance to join me. I know um, a few people told me that um, Tuesdays were were kind of a tough day, so hopefully by adding this Friday, um, we can we get to connect a little bit more. Just turn on one more light and then we're ready. Hi, Kirsten, how are you? I'm so happy you're here. Okay, I'm all set. So, welcome, welcome. Good morning, thank you for coming. Thank you for watching. Um, today, I'm gonna share a little um, Father's Day card because, because I need some. I know that um, it's kind of last minute so if you, um, you know, we're looking for a Father's Day card and you don't already have this set, I don't know that, well, it will not get to you in time for Father's Day, but um, my shipment was unexpectedly delayed. I was hoping to get this up for you guys earlier, but it, um, it didn't because my shipment took a minute. Okay, hold on. Let me um, post right here my little my party um, starting some Friday oh, morning live tutorials. Okay, just had to share this really quick. Okay, perfect. Let's get going. All right, today I am going to use the Whiskey Business um, stamp set. So that's what we're doing. And I have to share a little bit about this story or this card. So um, one of the things that I'm working on, like I think a lot of people are working on during this, um, you know, quarantine, isolation stuff is um, I'm, go I'm going through stuff. I'm purging and cleaning and just doing crazy things. I'm also finishing moving up into this house. So um, some of you might know that I moved into um, our new house um, almost exactly a year ago. Um, so that feels really good to finally be moved in. But one of the things that I found in my cleaning journeys was an old catalog. So this is an occasions catalog from 2016. Um, I do like to keep my catalogs because there's so much more than just um, a catalog for shopping and for purchase it's also a great um a, a great tool for inspiration so you can see there's just projects on the front cover as you flip through and you see um some of the old items we can't purchase the old items they're all retired but th i mean these little projects are so cute and um and I just love them. So do you guys ever clean and then you like find something amazing and you go through it and the next thing you know, you're like looking through, I don't know, random pictures for seven hours and you've cleaned a cupboard? That happens to me. Um, so, so this is a catalog I was going through. I'm going to skip right over to page 34 of this catalog. I saw this cute little card and I loved it. I think it's so, so cute. Um, and so I decided I was going to case it. That, so that's, we're going to do something like this for um, today's card. So, oh, it's my nails. Thank you so much. I love them. Ellie and I have matching nails this week. Okay. So that's, I just had to share that that's where um, the inspiration for this card came from was just an old Stampin' Up! catalog. Um, and I love it. I love it. Okay. 
So today what I'm using is I have a very vanilla envelope. I've already stamped on that, sorry. Very vanilla cardstock. This is DSP from, I don't know, one of the new suites. Um, this is some, um, I believe it's crumb cake. I could be totally wrong. Early espresso um, cardstock. And that's what we're using to make our card today. So let me grab my tools so they're a little more convenient to me. And, um, okay, so first I'm going to take this crumb cake cardstock and I'm going to fold it in half, creating our card base. So, um, that's typically how I start all my projects. It's just eight and a half by 11 paper cut in half, um, and that creates a standard card size. So we have that. I'm then going to take this, um, very vanilla cardstock, which has been cut at five and a quarter by four inches. So it's just a quarter inch smaller than the card here. Um, taking my very vanilla envelope. I've already stamped on it, but we're gonna pretend that I didn't because, you know, that would be really, really helpful if I hadn't have already stamped on it. Okay. So taking the Whiskey Business stamp set, I'm gonna grab this um, cup here, this whiskey glass. Grab that, I'm gonna put it on my block and I'm just using regular Memento ink. Um, so I'm just gonna stamp that a few times, just gather some ink on it. And I'm going to stamp this glass over here on the bottom right. And then we're gonna ink and stamp again over here on the envelope. Huh, isn't that so pretty? I did that, okay. So um, the reason I, I, I like to do my envelope and my inside, I just feel like it's re a really cute finishing touch. I know that I say that on every video, but um, it's, it's a true story. It just helps your projects feel just completed um, and it all coordinates and those are the little extra touches that I feel um, set our projects apart. Okay, so this is the inside of my card. So I'm just gonna um, flip it over. And I'm using the new stamp and seal. I got the new stamp and seal, and I have to tell you that I, I like it. I like it a whole lot. It's a little bit different than so. As you can see, I'm still adjusting to using it. It's a little bit different than our um, our original snail. Okay, so this is what I'm having a problem with. If you guys have been using this already, and um, you're already familiar with it and comfortable with it tell me what i'm doing wrong so um basically i i just i seem to always like pull a tail of the adhesive when i'm pulling off so then when i start again i'm finding my see i have like that tail maybe i don't apply enough pressure at the end i'm not sure but i pull that tail i've tried checking off kind of like we did on our old um what was that called the old, I don't know, the old adhesive that everyone loved that retired and people were sad. I struggled with that adhesive too. But I've tried checking off in the way that we did with that one and it um, it makes the, um, the adhesive like slide and I, I'm not, I don't like that. Okay, so I'm just putting this here on the inside. I'm centering it up. Um, one thing that I will say about this new adhesive is it is not as forgiving as our um, snail. So once you place it, you have to you have to be pretty dang committed. And that's what I'll say about that. Okay, I'm setting that aside. No, I lie, I'm not setting that aside. I'm going to get my background um, DSP. I'm gonna run some adhesive on the back of that. Let's see, there we go again. It's just this little, it's just the starting point that I'm having a hard time with. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm sure it's a user error thing. Okay. And I'm centering this up. Putting that there. Ta-da. Okay. Now I'm gonna set it aside. Okay, I'm gonna set it aside and I'm gonna pull over the big shot. Um, wait, am I gonna pull over the big shot? No, I'm not gonna pull over the big shot. What I'm gonna do is give myself some another, this is um, just scrap, very vanilla. So I'm just gonna pull that over and we're gonna do some stamping before we get the big shot. That way we can do um, embossing and die cutting at the same time without having to pull that big shot over um, multiple times. 
So let me grab myself another block, maybe. Oh, okay. Grab myself that block. Let me, let me clean off my glass so that I can use this block again. Okay, and I'm going to take this whiskey bottle and I'm going to put that one on this big block. And I'm gonna take, what am I gonna take? I'm gonna take um, being a dad is whiskey business. Take that one and put it on this block, okay? And then I'm gonna take my memento ink. Um, you always have a hard time measuring cards and getting them to look good. Really, Brooke? Um, I find that I do have to kind of double check the measurement on my paper. I don't um, necessarily get it perfect when I cut just the one time in half. Um, but I love our um, paper trimmer. Our paper trimmer is really awesome. And it um, I feel like it does a really good job of helping get those measurements um, pretty perfect. Okay. Um, but like I said, I do double check because sometimes I find that our paper isn't true eight and a half by 11. It'll be like eight and a half by, or eight and a half by 11 and an eighth of an inch. That's the only thing I've ever found. Um, and when it is off, it's not significantly off. Um, so I do kind of double measure sometimes. Not always. Sometimes I just go with it because, you know, it is what it is. Okay. So I just stamped those two in the memento and then I'm going to put these away and grab my big shot so that we can um, do some dry embossing and some die cutting. Okay, just have to clean up a little bit. All right, let me grab what I need for the embossing and die cutting. Get all these. I have all these supplies I need. Okay, so I'm just bringing the big shot over. Okay, and I'm going to first. I'm going to do the dry embossing. So I'm just getting my plate. I have here the um, wood planks embossing folder, and um, I'm just going to do this on the soft suede. I, earlier I said that this might be crumb cake, but it's not, it's soft suede. I'm gonna I just tear off a little bit of it so that the paper fits inside of my embossing folder. And it doesn't matter because we are gonna end up cutting that off. So we're not too picky about it. All right, I'm just putting that there. I'm trying to line it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, but this wood grain does have some kind of symmetry to it. And I don't want it to be too far off. So we're just gonna run that through. All right, open this up. And that gives us this really pretty wood textured, like this wood plank texture on our paper. So we're gonna be using that. And then we're done with the dry embossing. Now we're gonna do some um, die cutting. So I'm gonna put a plate down. This is just, um, a scrap vellum piece of paper that I have, and I'm going to use this circle from the layering circles. So I'm just gonna run that through. I probably could have run the very vanilla at the same time. I just didn't plan it very well. So we're running that through, getting ourselves um, just a, a vellum circle right here. Let's set that aside. Okay, one more. Now we're going to gonna get that very vanilla that we stamped on. I'm just going to use an oval around this um, being a dad is whiskey business. And I'm just going to try to center that up right there so that it... I think that's centerish enough. Centered enough. We'll run that through. 
And then we're all done with the big shot, so I'm gonna set that aside. Okay, and now we have this, um, this like oval with this really pretty stitching detail. So we have that. Okay, and that's all that we're doing with the big shot. For this uh, whiskey bottle, I'm gonna take my paper snips and I'm gonna do my most favorite thing ever. If you guys have been following me or if you know me um, as a crafter, if we've, you know, ever done projects together, you know that I'm, I'm totally being sarcastic because fussy cutting is not my favorite thing to do. I find it to be very tedious and time consuming, but sometimes there's no avoiding it. So I'm just gonna fussy cut. I'm leaving a little bit of trim. I'm not cutting right on the edge of the image. Um, hold on, Ellie's calling. What's up, Belly? Okay. Okay. Cool. Oh, you put on nails? How funny. You guys are so silly. Okay, the girls are just showing me that they took the tops of the, um, here, you guys want to show them? They're going to show you what they did. They did their nails. Here, put your hand down a little bit. She took tops of markers and put them on her fingers, and those are her lovely nails. Yeah, I love these. I really don't do them all the time, but. No, we don't do that all the time. But we do it sometimes. Well, they, they look very beautiful and rainbowy. Them we like when they're super beautiful. <laughs> you do? You like them super beautiful? Yeah, I like when they're, when they're like rainbow. Okay. But we don't call it. So I should do... You guys see why I don't like fuzzy cutting? I feel like it's taking my whole life. Okay, I've heard the trick is to move the paper and not the scissors. And so I try really hard to do that. And I guess it helps, but it okay, still okay. takes my entire life. It still takes forever and ever. Okay, just one little part left. I might finish before retirement. Mm -hmm. So whenever there's fussy cutting in a project, I always make two of every project. That's the first thing, let me just confess to that. But whenever I'm fussy cutting, I make absolutely no more than two because who has time for that? I don't have to. I mean, amen and power to all the people who do like 30 cards that involve fussy cutting on each one. You are amazing. Okay, all done. Yay! Okay, so what we're doing here is... I'm trying to think what I'm going to do first. Okay, I'm going to take my... Um, I'm going to get my punch. Okay, so this is... Amazing. Okay, so this is the triple, triple banner punch. I'm just gonna open it that way because our punches do store if you close it it stores like this so it gives you um, doesn't take up as much space so I'm just gonna pop it open so that we can use it and then I'm just gonna slide it in I'm actually gonna yeah I'm gonna slide it in this side because that's the side we ripped or I ripped I ripped that side okay just punch that in and if I remember right it's still too long so I'm gonna do it again maybe Okay, sometimes it helps to just lay the punch flat on the table. Sometimes, sometimes that's helpful. All right, well, it didn't cut off that much more. Whatever, we'll go with it. Okay, so we're doing that, and then I think we're ready to assemble, and we're pretty much done here. I just, um, I'm going to look at this. I don't have my um, prototype card next to me to look at, so I just want to look at this. I'm gonna look at what I'm casing. So I'm casing this card. So I just wanna make sure that I adhere the layers in the right way because I do want to stick true to what I'm casing. So um, it looks like the banner is what has dimension on it and the sentiment. So these three pieces are going to be layered together with no dimension. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, and I'm just gonna take some of this stamp and seal and I'm gonna run it on the back. There's gotta be something I'm doing wrong. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Again, if you guys have been using this seal and it's working wonderfully for you and you're loving it, tell me what I'm doing wrong because 
I know there's something. Can't possibly have been designed the way I'm using it. Okay, and I'm just gonna center this whiskey bottle here on the circle. I know it's hard to see because I have it on white, so it might have been beneficial to like have used the back of the card, that way I could see it a little bit better. But there we go, I centered that. Okay, and then I'm gonna run, because the vellum, the vellum is see-through, it's not completely clear, but you can, if you, if I were to run, to put some adhesive here, you would be able to see that adhesive. So I wanna make sure that I put my adhesive on the, um, like, what do you call that? Like the shadow, maybe, of the um, whiskey bottle. So I just wanna make sure that I'm not getting it on the parts of the vellum that you would see through. Okay, I'm gonna stack this a little bit just so that I can visually see where I want it to sit because this is gonna sit in the middle of the card and it's still a little long and we are gonna have to trim that, but I want it to sit. I probably want the whiskey bottle right around there. So we're gonna do that, okay. And let me grab let me grab my paper trimmer so that I can trim off that banner because it is a little long. And there's no, um, whenever I'm doing something like this, there's no um, exact measurement to it. I'm just kind of eyeballing it. And then I'm gonna put my finger there so that I know that that's where I want it to cut off at. And I'm going to measure it. I probably should have, um, here. I'm just, I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not doing anything magical here. There we go. And, oops, okay. And I'm done, I'm done with it. And I just wanna, I could probably replace my blade because I'm still, I'm starting to get some little strays. All right, so now I'm gonna pull over my dimensionals, finish assembling this and we're good to go. Okay. Um, no, wait. I got minis. I don't want minis. I don't want minis. No, no. Ah, I keep grabbing minis. Okay, hold on. I want normal dimensionals. I have normal dimensionals. I'm sure I do. I'm, I, I do. Okay. Just grabbing some normal dimensionals. Okay, I'm going to flip over this um, banner first, and I'm going to run some. I'm probably going to use a lot because you guys know I'm excessive with the dimensionals. I just don't like that after you've put them in a card and especially if they've gone in the mail, sometimes um, the process of them having been squished, um, it makes me feel like I need to, I don't know, add more to keep, so that way it comes back to life as beautifully as when I created. Okay, so just doing those. Then I'm going to line this up here so that the edge is right on the edge of this um, pattern DSP. Ta -da. Okay. Then I'm going to take two dimensionals for this whiskey business. Like that. Oops, let's not put it on. Our... You know what? Okay. I had to double check. Sometimes I do my cards and it's all going great. And then I realized I did it upside down and it just occurred to me. I didn't check for that when we started doing that. Okay. Um, okay. And then I'm just going to center this guy up right here. Ta-da! That's it. That's my card. So obviously this is um, my Father's Day card. So Ryan, if you see this later, be surprised, shocked, odd. It's beautiful. Um, and then coordinating envelope, which coordinates with the inside of the card. So that's always super fun. So again, I just want to reiterate um, that I did case this card from the Occasions 2016 catalog. Um, and, you know, there's nothing wrong with it, you guys. If you see something that you love, new, old, inspired, whatever, um, use it. Go with it. Let creativity flow and make it work for you. So thank you everybody who watched me this morning. I appreciate you. Um, please follow me on my blog. I am um, posting multiple times a week now. And you can also follow me on YouTube for um, new videos every week. I will be here live on Facebook every Tuesday and Friday at 10 a.m. And I go hope that everybody has a good Friday planned and a wonderful weekend. I'll see you later. Bye.